Now we'll think of the segregation of duties with relation to inventory. So remember, this is going to be one of the major internal controls. When we think about internal controls, we have the sub segregation or separation of duties. That meaning that the key components we're going to separate. And therefore, if, if there's going to be something like theft or fraud that's going to take place, it would have to involve something called collusion where multiple people would have to get involved and plan in order to basically commit fraud. So this is going to be one of the major internal controls, separation, segregation of duties that should come to mind anytime we think of internal controls with basically any type of system. Also note, of course, as we consider these internal controls, as always, that we're going to have more separation of duties, more segregation of duties that can be done as uh, companies are larger. If you go to a smaller type of companies, the question is what type of separation or segregation of duties will be appropriate given the size and the maintenance or the people that are involved within that organization. All right, segregation of duties, inventory management function is segregated from the cost accounting function. So inventory management separate from the cost accounting. Why? If they weren't segregated, production and inventory costs can be manipulated. So if you have the, the same in person that's going to be involved in the inventory management function uh, and is also doing the cost accounting function, and then the production of inventory costs can't be manipulated. And again, this is kind of the interesting factor for most people to actually think about where could fraud take place and then for us as the auditor, we've got that kind of skeptical viewpoint that we have to have basically when we're designing or thinking about internal controls or auditing them. Where could fraud take place? And then uh, what can we do in order to set up internal controls to reduce it? And how can we test for those controls? So this may result in an over or understatement of inventory and net income. Then we have the next segregation. Inventory stores function is segregated from the cost accounting function. So inventory stores function segregated from the cost accounting function. If they weren't segregated, unauthorized shipments can be made. So that wouldn't be good. We can have the unauthorized shipments if we had the one person involved with those two items and the theft of goods can be covered up. Obviously inventory is something that's not as liquid as cash, but it's something that is fairly liquid and it depends on what type of inventory we have. So it's something that could be subject to theft and we want to make sure that we have the proper safeguarding and controls over the inventory as well. And that, of course, includes segregation or separation of duties.